The Oscars of teaching. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Somerville, where Vanderveer Elementary School second grade teacher Lindsay Frevert is the kind of teacher who's tailored her classroom to the needs of individual students, seamlessly integrating technology with cross-curricular, multi-grade, district-wide activities. She reads to the kids before school, organizes family literacy nights at a middle school variety show, coaches after school soccer and softball, expanded the school strawberry festival to the entire town, and took a class that started last year with only 67% reading below grade level to 95% at or above by year's end. And what does Ms. Favre get for her efforts? She's New Jersey's only winner of the prestigious Milken Educator Award. Her reward, $25,000 and the privilege of teaching. Next to Cape May, where the nuns may let nature take its course, the Sisters of St. Joseph own the century-old St. Mary-by-the-Sea Beachfront Retreat, a block from the Cape May Lighthouse. It was built in 1889 as the Shoreham Hotel, sold in less than a decade and converted to a segregated nursing home called the Home for Aged and Infirm Colored People. After another decade passed, the sisters snapped up the sprawling U-shaped 130-room porch line property for a cool $9,000 and have held on to it since, except for the World War II years when they leased it to the U.S. Army for a dollar a year. The property's now assessed at just over $4 million. But instead of selling it, the nuns reportedly are considering raising it and returning the land to nature. Finally, Wayne, where Costco is accused of overtaxing for products employed when nature calls. The state tax law explicitly exempts toilet paper from sales tax. But Robert Arnold said Costco taxed him 7% sales tax on two different occasions for a big box size package of Sherman. He says he took his receipts to the store to complain and was told he had to fill out forms and take it up with corporate to get a refund in the mail. Arnold instead has filed a class action lawsuit accusing Costco of fraud, unjust enrichment and negligence, claiming the business violated the New Jersey Consumer Protection Act, the Truth in Consumer Contract Warranty and Notice Act, and New Jersey common law. No response from Costco. And that's our Garden State Express for Thursday, October 20th. Something up in your town? Tip us off.